You ready for bed, buddy? Mm -hmm. The Duffy story. You do? Yeah, do you have it, Dad? Duffy story, yes, I you have it right here. Oh, perfect. Is that a new story? Uh huh, it is. It's a brand new story. Duffy the Disney Bear. Duffy makes... the Disney Bear. Uh huh. Mickey's new friend. Mickey is a sea captain, so naturally he spends a lot of time on the ocean. But sometimes he gets lonely being away from Minnie for so long. Minnie has a seaside workshop where she makes all sorts of crafts. One day, she had an idea. She decided to make Mickey a teddy bear to keep him company on his long voyages. As she sewed, she thought about the fun adventures that she and Mickey had together, and she filled the bear with happy memories and love. When it was time for Mickey to set out on his next trip, Minnie came with him to the pier. She handed him a small duffel bag, and when he opened it, he discovered the adorable stuffed bear that Minnie had made him. Mickey was overjoyed. This is the best going away gift ever, Mickey exclaimed, and he gave Minnie a hug. You can keep him in your duffel and take him with you wherever you go, she replied. I will, and I think I will name him Duffy, Mickey decided. The next day was a busy one. Mickey had a crew of new sailors to train, and he hardly had a moment to rest. But after dinner, Mickey went down into his cabin and began to feel homesick. He missed Minnie, so he picked up Duffy and hugged him tight. As Mickey squeezed the little bear, a magical feeling came over him. All of a sudden, he felt the love that Minnie had sewed into Duffy, and he wasn't homesick anymore. He curled up in his bunk and fell asleep, holding the bear close to his heart. That night, Mickey had a dream. He dreamed that Duffy came alive and spoke to him. And this is what the little bear said. Mickey, whenever you start to miss home, all you have to do is give me a hug and the love that Minnie put inside of me will chase away your sadness. In the morning when Mickey woke up, he looked down at Duffy and smiled. To this day, Mickey still swears that the teddy bear smiled back at him and winked. After that, Mickey and Duffy were inseparable. Together they traveled all over the world and visited many new and exciting places. And of course, they made lots of friends along the way. They trekked through a jungle, rode a camel through the desert, and tried all different sorts of food. Well, Mickey did anyway. And everywhere they went, Mickey and Duffy took pictures. When Mickey got home, he told Minnie and his friends about all of his adventures with Duffy. He told them about the dream he had about Duffy coming to life, then showed them all the pictures he had taken, and they knew Duffy was one special little bear. It wasn't long before Mickey's friends began asking Minnie if they could have Duffy's too. They all wanted travel teddies who would make them feel loved and keep them company during their journeys. At first, it was difficult for Minnie to keep up with all of her friends' requests. But she was a very smart mouse, and she quickly transformed her workshop into Duffy Making Central. Once Minnie's friends had Duffies of their own, they set off on trips with their little stuffed sidekicks. Pretty soon, they began sending Minnie pictures of themselves hugging Duffy from locations far and wide. Right. We've got a big day tomorrow, okay? Get some rest. Let's go. Good night, guys. Good night, Jordan. After traveling around the globe, 
Duffy the Disney Bear, the very newest member of the Disney character family, has made his way to Epcot. Now, you can visit him too at his special meet and greet location near the entrance to World Showcase. Come prepared with your best bear hugs. For more information, visit your concierge.